oh, pressed the wrong button by accident and it stopped recording so uh, over here uh, a lot of more of the a lot more transplants that I pulled out of those you know that, that one tray that had a bunch missing so and these I've got all mulched up and dirty so we've got two you know, these are all kind of all mixed together um, just to see how they did but there's one marigold in the middle there and this is that Merlot lettuce it's already looking really cool I like it Merlot lettuce uh, Swiss chard this Swiss two Swiss chards that's an actual spinach um, marigold marigold and that's um, mustard and more Swiss chard and uh, there and uh, marigold mustard Merlot lettuce Swiss chard or actually I think that's uh, spinach um, it's a little you can kind of tell the difference the spinach is a wider leaf and these uh, Swiss chard are more narrow um, more that's all just Swiss chard um, we think we covered that that's mustard that's mustard that's just marigolds there Swiss chard um, mellow lettuce and marigold there and again more of those here and then little baby parsley's and then this is some of that blue boy flower when we come over here to these trays which are doing pretty good so a bunch of these are gonna have to get transplanted out too I mean you can see like this catnip these are ready I'm sure they've got roots coming out of the bottom yep yeah they are needing to be transplanted so I've got to get that trying, trying to find time for everything is the problem right now and this is the pepper tray except for the last one which is onions all peppers so these three haven't come up for some reason but most of them did so as long as most of them do I'm happy with that that's that's good lots of peppers and you can see this bed is mostly cleared out we just have some carrots left which I've actually harvested several carrots and there's still a bunch left and they're still like looking happy but um these are gonna get all harvested out possibly this weekend I'm just gonna go ahead and get them all out because I have to get this bed ready uh, scrape off the top all this old mulch uh, add in more man uh, composted manure and uh, get it a new layer of mulch on there so that I can get lots of peppers and onions and stuff plant planted in here and then here's our favorite spinach which it's the six month spinach because it took six months to do anything and now that it, now it's finally looking like spinach and I've been able to get some leaves off of it and actually eat it a few times so, you know you just took a little while that's all but, yeah these some of these carrots are are big I mean I harvested uh, last Sunday so, you know, I harvested last Sunday three giant ones I mean this they're just doing good and then over here lots of beans these are bush beans so I don't have to worry about poles or trellis or anything um, I love green beans and so this is uh, 22 only uh, two of them didn't pop up all the rest of them did and these are actually inoculated beans which is uh, what you what I did was I added a, it's basically a type of bacteria and you soak the, the bean in uh, water with that bacteria in it for 20 or for you know overnight before you plant them and you plant them and so it creates a symbiotic relationship with the root system and the plant and it helps bring more nitrogen for the plant so and I think I've noticed a huge difference uh, with that because I mean they have gotten so big so fast it's insane these were planted um, March 16th and this is two and a half weeks from then it's it's it has not taken them long like they they popped out took them about a week to to sprout and then they were just took off like crazy and they're big plants already you can see so yet another plane as per the normal uh but yeah i'm so far i'm super impressed with uh you know inoculating beans and i've seen really good results we'll see how how well they produce um the actual beans here in a month but of course i mulched those because you know, mulch is your best friend for growing anything really but uh yeah that's about it um i think we've covered everything i'm not going to go through the front gardens today 
But um, yeah, that brings you up to speed and I will catch you next time. Take care.